Hello, folks and fans out there in the hinterlands. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you, and I wish I could answer your your cards and letters personally, but it's just uh, uh, overwhelming uh, the response that's come in from my being uh, in the hospital for an operation. What a wonderful outpouring of love and affection and uh, good wishes, and I. I just can't tell you how it's improved uh, everything about my recovery and made it uh, so much easier on me to know that you're all out there supporting me and and uh, sending this wonderful bunch of cards and letters that I I have read them all and uh, I'm I'm reading them as they come in and uh, I'm very very grateful for that you folks have have supported me over the years and now that I've uh, found myself in the hospital the support has been over overwhelming and outstanding. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's hard for me to believe that I was in the hospital. I haven't. I've only I've been very lucky through my life. I'm 76 years old, and I've only been in the hospital twice. Once for an appendectomy about uh, 30 years ago, and then for this operation on my colon to get rid of a a bad polyp that uh, did turn out to be first stage colon cancer, but they removed uh, 15 lymph nodes from immediately around it and they were all benign so they feel very confident that they've gotten it all and I don't have to go through any further treatment, no chemo or radi- radiology or anything like that, for which I'm very, very grateful. And I guess I'm just about the luckiest man who ever lived to come through all this and, and only have two operations, but uh, I certainly hope that that's the last one I have to, to go through. and. Uh, and your support has been outstanding and, and heartwarming, and I can't thank you enough. And I can't thank you enough for supporting Karen Lindsay and the website, uh, uh, the Virginian.net. Please check with it on a on a weekly basis and see where we're going and what we're doing. We've got quite a schedule coming up this summer. Uh, we're going to the Festival of the West just in a week or so out in Scottsdale, which is always a great show. And then we're... Uh, in Fredericksburg, Texas, at the Pin Star Ranch, that's a, uh, a single action shooting society uh, ranch where they they shoot with live ammunition at, at targets under very controlled range conditions, and it's a that's a wonderful sport that they engage in up there. And then in June, we'll be at the Memphis Film Festival, which is always a wonderful show in Memphis. And then down to uh, back to Allen, Texas, to the public library there. They're going to be showing Ride the High Country, which I uh, was uh, was happy to be involved in, playing Billy Hammond, the the leader of the band, band of Mountain Boys, who were uh, a bunch of uh, uh, naughty, naughty guys who uh, got involved with the with a shootout, and, uh, and of course uh, hit the dust, as, as the bad guys always have to. And then we're all on to Montrose, Colorado, to the Mountain West Museum for a big uh, get-together. And then they asked me to go to Medicine Bow, Wyoming, which is, of course, uh, fabled in, in the original Virginian, published in 1902, when he set the, the setting of Shiloh Ranch at Medicine Bow, Wyoming. And the, uh, the author, Owen Wister, I believe, actually stayed in the... In the uh, the Virginian Hotel for a time while he was writing the book. And this is the 100th anniversary of the historic uh, Virginian Hotel, which is done up in uh, Victorian style, and every room is decorated in a, in a different way, and it's just a wonderful place to see and a wonderful place to stay and gives you a great sense of history. So I'm glad to be involved in that and all these other things. In July, we're going to Dillon, Virginia, for the Cowboy Days, and... Uh, then in August to the Kanab uh, Western Legends Film Festival for a second year in a row, and that's a wonderful get together. And I get to meet a lot of my, see a lot of my friends that I don't see very often from California. And then we'll be in Swanton, Ohio, at a charity horse show to benefit veterans up there, and that's October first and second. And I haven't got any space to mention the other things. There's a few things we're we're pending and coming up with, but. It'll be added to on a on a daily basis as we get these things confirmed. So uh, stay in touch with Karen and look at all the wonderful uh, legend uh, uh, commemorative editions are coming out. 
the first season, three seasons are available now, and the fourth season will be available very soon in a tin box version that uh, uh, has all the shows for one year. So you get a real bargain by by buying those commemorative editions. And we have also have the first and second season available in uh, uh, two boxes for each season and uh, with 15 shows in each. So they're, they're still available. We have a T-shirt now. We're coming out with a coffee cup and a mouse pad for those of you who spend all so much time on a computer. And we hope you'll, you'll, you'll look at them and, uh, and buy them and enjoy them. And uh, I, again, I can't thank you enough for your wonderful support during my, my hospitalization and the flowers that came were uh, beautiful and, and brightened up that uh, hospital room, I'll tell you. And, uh, and then the cards have really aided me in my recovery. So I'm feeling very fit. I haven't lifted anything over 450 pounds in a couple of weeks, but I, I plan to get back into pushing a lot of iron. So. Uh, keep the good wishes coming, and uh, I wish you all the very best wishes, and God bless you. Thank you.